Hello everyone. Welcome to Pitch Stop for Cloud. In this video we are going to discuss about file store service in GCP. Let's begin. Let's have a quick look on what is file store. File store is a fully managed network attached storage for Google Compute Engine and Kubernetes Engine. It's a centralized storage where you can save your data and the storage can be mounted on Compute Engine or Kubernetes Engine. Also it can mount in multiple machine at a time with read write capability. It's a no-op service, we don't have to manage the backend, you don't need to install the servers or create the file system. It's completely managed service. File store can mount in multiple virtual machine at same point of time. Predictable price and performance. Let's create one and mount in multiple servers and see how it looks. Here is my GCP console. Let's go to file store dashboard. There are multiple ways to navigate. You can search file store here or we can go to main menu drop down to storage file store here is my file store dashboard i can go to create instance i'll give instance name file share description is optional we have to select basic or high scale. Basic capacity is from 1 TB to 63.9 TB. For your basic file server, high scale is in beta version. We can see it's from 60 to 320 TB. Here we can see the price summary for 1 TB share. It is 204 dollars. Next we can choose storage type HDD or SSD. HDD is for standard storage, SSD if you need high performance. When I select SSD, the total cost is $768. It's pretty costly. For training purpose, let's select HDD. size is 1 TB we can't really reduce it 0.5 TB we can't really reduce minimum capacity is 1 TB we can select regions different regions depends on your requirement you can select it's always good to choose the region where your compute engine instance or your kubernetes engine instance located I'll go with the default under VPC network here we can choose VPC network this also I'll go with the default and always we should choose the VPC where your compute resources are located we can choose the allocated IP ranges here we can choose the file share name we have first we chose file name of your instance and here we are choosing name of your file share grant access to all clients on VPC or you can restrict the access to some of the IP ranges you can click here and IP ranges you can give so that only those instance can be accessed here I'll mention grant access to all clients on VPC network let me create this click on create you can see the cost let's let me walk through what all I selected HDD 1 TB size US central one region default VPC let me create it it will take a while to create file store instance is ready 
we can see the name file share which we have given let's go inside and see file share here is the share path with the IP address slash data we have given VPC network default capacity basic HDD and location now next task is to mount this file share on compute engine VM or Kubernetes I have created two compute engine VM my VM1 and my VM2 these are CentOS operating system let's log in here is my my VM1 let me switch to root I logged in as root user let me check the current file system structure to mount file store instance there should be a package in your Linux machine that is nfsutil we have to install nfsutil I ran the command yum install nfsutil the command varies depends on the Linux version it's asking me to whether install or not I'll give yes I have installed nfsutil on my VM1 let me do the same on my VM2 as well this is my VM2 I will switch to root user yum install nfs hyphen util it will prompt it's getting installed and it's over nfs util got installed now next task is to mount our file share instance to mount any file system under linux we should create an empty directory let me create that have given the name mkdir file store hyphen data I am creating a directory file store hyphen data now to mount command is mount hyphen t nfs your file share path I am copying that from here I will paste it your IP address colon data this is your file share instance path I will give file store hyphen data that's my mount point all these commands I will paste in description I ran the command it's successful let me see I can see the file store mount and including the path let me do the same under my VM2 We can see the same share got mounted on both the machine now let's validate whether 
it has read and write access or not. I'm switching to file share. LSIFNL, there is no data. I'm going to create some content. To create files, the command is touch. To create data, I'm giving file one, file two. I'm creating two empty files. It got created two files which means I have read and write access. I did that under my VM2. Let me go to my VM1. I am under file store instance. We can see that. I'll run the command pwd to confirm. I am doing lsifnl. We can see the files which we created on my VM2 here. I am in my VM1. You can see the file. Also, let me create a file from my VM1. File 3. I did it on my VM1. Let me go back to VM2 and see whether it's reflecting here or not. See, my file 3 is available. Interesting, right? File store is a centralized storage. We can create and keep your data. No matter what happens to your VMs, your data will be available. You can just attach or mount your file store under multiple virtual machines and save the data. I hope all of you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please post in comment box. Thanks for watching Pitstop for Cloud. Subscribe our channel for upcoming videos. Thank you.